Here I am. It's Leon C, aka Morpheus, here to answer some more of your questions. And this is the third segment of the video. And talking about tough questions that you ask of Morpheus, that you ask of me. So I'm here to deliver the red pill and to inspire you, to give you the strip that you need to take care of yourself and to build a better to America tomorrow. I'm getting right, right, I'm gonna get right to the emails here. And going on and finishing these tough questions for you trying to put me in the hot seat. Going on to the next question. Mr. Morpheus, what do you say about heaven and hell is heaven and hell real what is your perspective on heaven and hell all right ready for the red pill very simple hell and heaven is actually a condition of your life it is a perception of your reality it is an idea focus of your lens of your soul and of where you are in your function. Look at it like this. There are people who are strictly in poverty, who is realistically suffering as we are discussing now, my American family. There are people who don't know when they're gonna, when they're gonna pay their own bills, how they're gonna pay their bills, how they're gonna feed their kids. There are people who <clears throat> are struggling to have a job or keep a job. There are people who are addicted to drugs that they don't want to be on drugs. Hell is a condition. Same as there are those who are in a loving relationship or a loving family. Where they feel like they are in a zone of perfection. They feel like they are taken care of. There's something about when you are loved by a group of people who is always there to support you, who's always there to help you in your time of need gives you a feeling that is untradeable. It doesn't surmount anything else. It is unique in its own. You feel like you are well taken care of when you have people who really love you, who really take care of you, who are concerned about you, which is generally family. Most times it's friends. And depending on what type of companion you're with, it could be your companion, your husband, or your wife. Whereas your burdens of life could be in a hellish situation. But because they are there, they make your life easier. They make your life tolerable. When otherwise you would suffer. You would be, you would be uh, distraught. You will be distorted by being alone. So hell in heaven is a perspective of condition. It's not a place that you go into. Hell in heaven is actually within yourself. It's not a, it's not a city in the air. It's not some sky place that you go to just because you think you pass away. Because ladies and gentlemen, if anybody tell you that they've passed away and gone to heaven and come back, okay? you need to question their sanity all right and getting further to that if you ever hear somebody say well you know i i've been through tough times and and jesus was talking to me because he just brought the lot to my mind and i just changed my life and just i don't know what their experience is i don't know what your experience is but i can tell you from morpheus's experience okay with all due logic and realness when i was in turmoil jesus did not come knocking on my door you understand the only time i saw an image of jesus is when i had one too many drinks and i smoked the wrong type of cigar you understand but besides that my mind and my focus has been clear you understand because we have to deal with everyday reality. 
you and most people have the ability to change their life once they see the bottom pit. Just because you decide to change your life, that doesn't mean that God inspired you to do so. Because inside every last one of you, my brothers and sisters, there is good, there is evil, there is yes, and there is no. You are the devil and you are God at the same time. And you can be in a zone of heaven with yourself when you're with the right people or the right person. Or you can be in the zone of hell when you are powerless, when you are enslaved, when you are destroyed of freedom or of self, when you are powered down and not empowered. Okay? The description of the pit of hell was a historical event that have occurred in the Crusades. Whereas if most people did not believe in the Christian entity, which it wasn't even called Christianity then, it was a different name before the Jews switched it around, okay? During that time, if you did not believe in their Christian lifestyle, they did a lot of decapitating, they did a lot of uh, crucifying with that cross that y'all love so much and you put around your neck. So if you did not believe, they would take your dead body, alive or dead, and throw you in this pit. Okay, and you people want to transform it and say the pit of hell. You could call it a form of hell, but it is not in the ground where you dig up the ground and poof, fire start coming out of the ground. That's nonsense. This isn't kindergarten. This is for adult people. You understand? And if you think about it, a lot of people have been crucified by the electric chair for years as well. You don't see nobody walking around with the electric chair for a necklace, do you? So why are you wearing a crucifix? Because somebody was crucified. And this one person makes it all right. What if one person made it all right to walk around with the electric chair around our neck and earrings? Because of one person. You know, it don't make sense. It's illogical. You understand? You got to do your history and you got to read. Hell and heaven is a perspective. It's not a place. <clears throat> if heaven was real, my uh, enslaved human friends, if you want me to be realistic and Morpheus on you, okay? The way that, listen, the way that y'all treat human earth today, how you struggle on human earth today, if you think that you're going to die and go to this united heaven where all of y'all are going to meet again, that place eventually over time because y'all live like cancers is going to end up just like earth going through climate change going through destruction going through flood and hurricanes because y'all don't know how to keep your hands off of anything so if you think heaven exists for people who is going to be supposedly clean and full of paradise you're dead wrong you would be dead wrong you need to find out your perspective of hell and heaven here in the land of the living and trust me you will find it there's evidence there is a condition of a hellish lifestyle and there's a condition where you feel like you are in a sense of paradise at ease and comfort even more so when you are in love or you love those who are around you I'm back. I had to take a small break there. Had a had a minor interruption. So getting back to what I was talking about, <coughs> as far as the perception of hell in heaven, is based on your mindset. And this country, with all the indoctrinations, my dear family and friends, have always been to attack your soul and attack your perception because where your perception is will cause you to buy. Where your perception is will cause you to buy fear. Where your perception is will cause you to buy into the construct of their indoctrination because you don't know nothing or you can't guide yourself okay so don't buy into the concept of hell and heaven you have life here and now you are to understand your perception of hell and heaven here and now not when you die because people who die don't come back and from my perspective normally they don't come back okay but unfortunately, we got zombie act type of people who seems to not feel or think at all if you pay attention to the news or if you pay attention to your outside environment. Okay, 
those are zombie act people people who just consume okay but there's nothing up here now getting on to the next subject do you support morpheus since you're all about american power and support and empowerment for the next future and children traditional marriage i do i do and i would say yes i do absolutely absolutely i do because you got to remember how was it working to begin with all the way to now you got to actually discover the decline where did the problem start okay i got a thing called the roots in my bible the 20 the bible <laughs> in my book the 2020 america rise or die in my book not bible okay that is in the description box below talks about the roots but i'm not going to i'm not going to spoil it for you right now i'm just going to give you a couple of easter eggs okay generally you got to figure out where the problem is okay how did it begin what happened to america that caused america to go the way that it's going today why are they creating all these programs upon programs upon unnecessary programs to cause further confusion you understand so usually it first comes to a breakaway of your value and your your traditions that was healthy for america and your families okay first of all you're like we was like this in america and we had certain constitutions that were strong and how we expected and unexpected which was fine there was some things realistically my family people that we needed to do away with with the american constitutions and its fortresses okay but the main values that has been broken away in order to create the downfall of america we still need today such as traditional family such as comprehending gender such as comprehending what you should do with your morality and knowing the boundaries of what to and what not to do okay now we just have a whole lot of zombie act people who are functioning without thinking and they have to depend on other people to guide them so those very people are surrounded around you and you wonder why the nation isn't being uprisen you wonder why they have to keep hiring police after police after police onto the streets when you would think that people know how to think for themselves okay look at it like this the police officers are babysitters to some of y'all children or to some of you they have to babysit you you know y'all call them for every little small thing oh oh he took my he took my toy can you give it back to me please officer you know and then he have to swoop down him or her and take care of your minor minute situation okay on most occasions i'm not talking about the emergency situations i'm not talking about the critical situations that i hear y'all talk about oh this police officer saved my life and he didn't show up then i'll be dead now i'm not talking about you you are an exception to the rule this ain't your channel this is for people who are trying to find the root of the problem we're talking about the values of family and home okay justification starts at home it starts with daddy and mommy you understand i support it because it kept moving the country forward i support it because the divorce rate wasn't so bad as it is now okay since they came out with instagram facebook social media and all that old crazy stuff okay because we overdo it i created this for you as the empowerment to reach out to you not for my own personal needs and pleasure you understand i don't shop on this you understand i don't live this way okay so because i realize there's a boundary to how far you need to go with your life with technology with plastic with oil with how we are functioning but unfortunately we didn't comprehend that that value starts at home that there had to have been a structure of something natural do i support traditional uh, to traditional marriages yes i do because it's healthy for america and it's about empowerment and moving the country forward not destroying the country by creating uh falsified unities that's not going to produce we need production in the right direction all right <clears throat> here's the fourth and not last mr morpheus i have read that women support transgender mostly how do you feel about this and why is it that is mostly the women that support transgenderism well we have to understand one thing chemistry 
men and women, we are like night and day. Okay? Although we could do some of the same tasks, that doesn't make us the same. When you try to blend in a dog and a cat, you're going to get a freak of nature. You understand? The problem is we don't comprehend the anatomy of the female herself and the jobs and the places where she have surmised. And a lot of reason that a lot of women support that, they have supported a lot of movements that weren't good for America. They've done a lot of things. If you notice the, the common American female, she branches herself off of hypergamy and she's never satisfied. She always got to distort something. Most of my clients who have been women have been destroyed by other women. Most of my clients who are women have been in office settings where they had women bosses who would literally go into that office and start causing distortion, moving desks around, changing curriculum, pushing paper, and telling everybody what they need to or should do. Listen, when the operation is already working. And I was like, why are you messing with something that works already? Because a lot of women, listen, a lot of women live off of chaos. They live off of drama. They live off of uncertainty. It excites them even more so if they can't excite themselves. Even more so if they're a single mother. Even more so if they're bitter and they're already over the hill and they hit the wall walking backwards with sneakers on. Okay, and the swoosh side is backwards. They hit it so hard. You understand? So, of course, they're going to support transgenderism or support any other movement that's not productive for the American people. That's not an attack on transgenderism. And it's not an attack on, on women, my dear friend. You're just stating an obvious statistic and fact. Okay? Now, what you did, you did your research to figure out the root of the problem. Now, you got to go deeper than that by realizing, and you came to me for that, why they are doing that and becoming this ambient energy that is producing or supporting these movements. Frankly, my dear friend, and I don't like to step on toes, but it's just realistic because the truth is going to be itself and it doesn't care about your feelings. Most of them cannot direct themselves. Most of them don't see further than what's in front of them or make plans that are two or three years ahead of themselves because most of them are just emotional species. Most of them go by day to day. Most of them create the national debt. You know, most of them create the stigmas that we have nowadays, which are destroying the child's life and mind. So, of course, they're going to support it. And don't take my word for it. You people, my family, do your research. Don't take my, don't take Morpheus word for it. Morpheus just gives you the, rip, the red pill and it makes you choke sometimes. Drink some water if you have to. It'll go down easier. But like I always say, you're going to be all right. Okay? Do your research. Watch the statistics yourself. And you pay attention to it. This gentleman that's, that emailed me is correct. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a woman behind that that's supporting the movement or supporting something that's not benefiting it, even if it's distortion. Why? Because they breed off of chaos and disorder. There's a reason why America was the way that it was in its beginning phases or in its triumph years or when it was strengthening its foundations and its values and morals. Yeah, we understand that America was distorted in its past and slavery and all this kind of crazy stuff. What we need to do is not focus. We, yeah, those things happen. And we need to concentrate, yes, on the history versus what's going on now. But we have to make changes for what we need to do for tomorrow. You say, yeah, that happened years ago. But we need to fix what we have now. Today, America is going downhill. Today, America needs help because we are all in this together. And as a team, we got to find out these roots and change them for the better. So I'm not talking about America in the slavery years and its idiotic years and the revolutions and all that. Okay, so I'm talking about what has occurred now. I'm talking about what we need to do now. Yeah, yesterday's yesterday. Let's fix this today. The reason why these women have been performed by blue pill guy, by betas who just want to be a part of their I can't even say it here on this channel, want to be a part of their back pocket friendship, okay? Where instead of them being man enough to tell the woman or to say, no, we shouldn't do that, or bring logic into the table and real science, 
they rather sit back and say, yeah, she's right. Yeah, go ahead. I empower you to do it. And guess what happens? He gets railroaded. Everybody gets railroaded. And you and I and your innocent children and you end up suffering for it because they end up in your school. They end up living next to you. They end up in your bathroom. They end up in your store. They end up right next to you. And you better not say anything. Otherwise, they'd get upset for you telling the truth. Okay? When you got, when we are at a point where sickness is health or bad is good you know up is down and you know for a fact that it's not that way but you do nothing about it okay because the woman is is in the lead or because you don't want to make her mad or because you don't want to uh seem like a a, a bad jerk or this bad guy or you a woman hater okay you allow them to do what they want to do and they're going to support something that's going to tear down your kingdom they're going to tear down your kingdom. Don't take Morpheus words for it. Do your research. Ask other married men who've been divorced three or four times. Ask boyfriends who've had to dump six or five or eight, you know, or nine of their girlfriends. Ask them. Do your research. Look up Tom Likas. Okay? Look up people like that. Look up Maytel and ask the and think about why these guys are doing what they're doing. It's not that we can't cooperate, okay? It's that a lot of women okay a lot of a lot of women can't combine themselves they can't be satisfied they love their hypergamy and to them it's all about them so if they can produce something that causes a distortion for the environment or the or even the country they will just give them a certain amount of time and you'll end up divorced with them too now i got another video here to come because like i said it's going to be a segment to discuss all these questions and be able to provide it to you to empower you Again, this is Leon C. And it is not to step on toes. I'm only answering questions. Don't shoot the messenger. Because you can go do the research yourself and figure it out. I'm just telling you exactly what's happening. Okay? And it's up to you to make changes and to be the logical thinker and put emotions aside. And think about the reality of it. Because the reality is we don't have a future. We don't have a tomorrow until we start doing things today to help ourselves and these facts and ideas it's leon c once again you have everything in the description box you feel them somebody else need it like it subscribe it and share it so that way we can change the downfall of america and bring value back up not for you for your children